advanced B2B e-commerce feature are a serious set of features that you need to learn to support selling content to businesses in a major way. And like all things in the basic and advanced features, basics a lot of time, no matter what the feature set, assume a one-to-one -one relationship so you can do something in one way. And in advanced features, usually allow you to do it in multiple ways simultaneously and B2B e-commerce is, is indeed one of those things. So be able to sell in bulk differently to different types of users is one of the, the first thing that, that B2B uh, can do. So different pricing based on different types of organizations. The second piece, if you remember from basic B2B is that when you bulk purchase, you have to get your users into the system. Now those users can be into the system and just take it and it looks like the same as everybody else. They just happen to be in the LMS because of a bulk purchase. The next layer of sophistication is when you have a unique area for that particular group of users. So client A and their 100 learners have a little area in the LMS that only client A can have. It's branded to them perhaps, it has their logo on it, their learners, the content that they purchased, business rules, notifications, certificates, are all things, classes with sessions, you know, live classes, Zoom, are all things that are specific to that group of users. And within that, there's the concept of delegated administration. So that buyer of the bulk learners then has visibility and some administrative privileges to look at reports and analytics, to assign content, primarily those two things, to communicate with their learners through the, the learning management system. So the ability to create that member area. Now that can be created manually by the seller as an administrator, but in good systems, that area gets spun up automatically as part of the bulk purchase. And the learner that bought the, the system automatically gets uh, assigned that delegated admin administrator role and everything goes on automatically from there. Uh, that purchase, that bulk purchase in advanced B2B can happen either inside the LMS or it can happen in some external system on the website or in a PO or as part of a larger order and have that push through some sort of integration from the CRM or an ERP system into the LMS that does the same things and spin that uh, member area up, assign the administrator and so forth. A couple of other features that are advanced would be the concept of credit and debit accounts and organizational credit and debit accounts. And what this means is that an organization can send their learners to the LMS and run up a bill. And then at the end of the month, they'll get a bill based on how much their learners consume. Or the other way, you can buy access to the system up front, maybe in the, in the terms of like credits or things like that, and have a coupon code that you then work off. Uh, so maybe you buy $1,000 worth of training and then as you consume it, that works off. And then finally, the last little piece of a B2B that super advanced is B2B to B, the third B. And that's when your organizational members or resellers or clients then sign up their own and distribute the content on their own to their partners, individuals, and member partners. And so then there's three or really X tiers of the, be able to, the ability to run a business with your content suppliers, your content suppliers then can run a business with their suppliers, all being driven from one central learning management system, sharing content, sharing business rules out. That's B2B e-commerce and learning management systems, and that's serious stuff.